You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with the start of round one. Should be interesting for as long as it lasts on one side. We have the decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. A fighter that really can do it on the He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah? Combinations here. They're certainly getting after it early. so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here today. Oh. Right, looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is, and with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming, but he got it. He does a great job of disguising this technique. He is a fantastic judo player, and he did a great job of getting to his position. All right, so he just decides to... inside the arena now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has you ready to fight ready so here's the southpaw, Joseph Benavidez. He has spent the bulk of his career in contention, fighting the best guys in the world. Oh, Zertan. Man, he's so deceptive as he lands these leg kicks. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fighting. Another hook. Zertan. Back to his feet. opened up a cut. Yeah, he's bleeding now. Yeah, open up a cut. It's not bad, right? It's not a bad cut. We gotta keep an eye on it. Well, 
all he can do. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, early round action here as we get a look at the UFC flyweight contender, Brandon Royval. He believes to a man he is the most exciting fighter in this flyweight division. An outstanding mix of knockouts and submissions. And he believes tonight he will get another finish to add to his total. Oh, he gets caught again there by another hook. He's all flying knee right on the chin. Royval's cheek looks like it's caught. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Back to the feet now. Oh, big left. Oh! Lands another big hook. Oh, nice combination. Man, back and forth we go. Early on, these guys getting after him. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they delivered. Roy Ball's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. He has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Though. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. That's right. I, I don't do that as well as you do. Yeah. Oh, no. Absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Bajay! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public tonight. Exactly that. Congratulations. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are back at the O2 Arena. Oh, oh, what are on Edwards confronted Jorge Masvidal? Oh, 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 it's up here.
ready to fight. He's ready. Let's do it. All right, here's the Brazilian flyweight contender, Alessandre Pantoja. Somewhat remarkable, given all that he has accomplished, that he hasn't fought. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, nice high kick. Big right hand. Oh, and there it is. It was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. They will let this effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alejandro. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here's perennial contender Joe. Oh, the head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to fight. Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Amir the Prince Abaje! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. Flyweight as we get this round underway, and Alex Perez is a guy who has been thought of as a future flyweight champion by a lot of fighters. Has all the tools he would want, certainly when it comes to the wrestling and the grappling game, and certainly has flashed the knockout power at times in the UFC as well. Can he make weight? Can he stay healthy? And if those two things are checked and answered, a lot of oh, a beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go. From. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Oh, that'll 
Let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Amir the Prince! to see how this fight and this round all oh, wanted a flying knee to the head. is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK. Ooh! Ooh, head kick lands from Hurt. Some real power shots here. Down landing, please. Down landing again. Now he's back up. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Oh! Oh, right hand. Oh, my 
so that opened up a cut around his eye early. He hasn't moved his head well. He's taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, he kicks. What a basketball show of different techniques and ability for a combination. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that. I Time. You see the referee pausing the action here. They're going to call in the doctor to look at this cut. Might be the beginning of the end here. I mean, blood all over his face. He's been beat up, battered and bruised. He still wants to fight. Yeah. All right, that is going nice to be man. I These knew, fans I are knew. I knew he was going to stop it. You're going to let the guy fight. Give him a shot. Give him a shot, John. I don't know, man. Live to fight another day. You could stick three quarters inside <laughs> that thing. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Amir the Prince of Bozzi. So how about this, a new world order at 125 pounds as we crown a UFC flyweight champion for the first time tonight. Congratulations to the new king. The new champion of the world. Congratulations on a great performance to take the title away from such a great champion. And I'm not going to steal your thunder by asking how old DC was when he weighed 125 pounds. Oh, 11. Ah. <laughs> 11, maybe.